hello friends welcome back to my channel so this repaint video is going to be very special because today i am going to be starting a very new series in which i will be repainting different kind of pokemons and pokemons are one of the most favorite thing to watch and i just love it but for this repaint i decided to work on selvion selvion is one of my all time favorite pokemon i just love her design and she is very cute and I wanted to convert Selvion into a very beautiful girl and I have lots of ideas and inspirations for her. So if you are brand new to my channel then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell and now without further ado let's jump on to our video. Today I have used Luna Motive's doll as a base because I just love her beautiful face mold and she is very cute. I am using thin layers of acrylic paint just to change the doll's skin tone and make sure to give it about 3 to 4 layers to make the white color very opaque and vibrant. Moving on to the doll face up, so I have already sealed the doll face up twice with my sealant and after this I am taking my watercolor pencil, soft pastels and makeup brushes and starting repainting the doll face. I have already drawn the doll eyes using my brown color of watercolor pencil. Now I am using my brown, pink and light color of soft pencils and adding them all around the doll face just to add some realism and dimension. Moving on to the tattoo part of the doll face up. So this time I wanted to try something new and wanted to repaint Selvion on the doll face. So off screen I have already drawn Selvion in the doll face up and now I am taking my acrylic paint to paint it very carefully. Make sure to just build thin layers of acrylic paint and use a very tiny brush just to add a lot of details to the Selvion part and to make it very cute. So now I have also added some shadows and different kind of outlines to the Selvion just to make it very perfect. And now I am finally done with the Selvion part and I think that the tattoo is looking fantastic. This was my very first time trying something very different so I am really happy with the result. So now I have already sealed the doll face up twice with my sealant just to protect Selvion from chipping. And now I am taking my blue color of watercolor pencil and starting drawing the doll irises. And I mostly use my tiny brush to add some darker colors to the doll face and to make everything very vibrant. I fill out the doll irises using my blue color of acrylic paint because I just want some fast result and acrylic paint is the very easiest way to build some darker colors in your doll face. Using a black watercolor pencil, I am starting drawing the doll eyeliner. And before sealing the doll face, I also decided to add some pearlex powders which is sent to me by Enchantarium. Make sure to check out their channel, they are fantastic. And now I am adding a lot of pearlex powders all around the doll face up just to make the doll face very shimmery. And now the story is same, I just have to build layers again and again just to make all the colors very opaque and vibrant. And now enjoy the process of the face up and if I have to tell you something special then I will be right back.
I think that the doll face up is looking very cute but still I wanted to add some eyelashes just to add some more dimension to the doll eyes and eyelashes always make the doll eyes more beautiful. And at last I give her some eye shines adding a few more details here and there like adding some tiny freckles to the doll face and with that the doll face up is all done and I'm so much happy that how the doll face turned out she's one of my most favorite face up which I have ever done. Moving on to the doll outfit, so I have taken this Monster High Operator doll as a base and I have already softened the doll head and now I am just removing this from the body. Some of you guys will be thinking that why I am using Operator because I love her skin tone and I just don't want it to use Luna original body because I need it for another custom doll. So I have already made the top of the doll outfit and I think that this came out very detailed and I just love it. And I have also made a lot of ruffles and dark blue color also and light blue version and also in a light pink version. But later on in this doll I don't use the pink one because it was too much. And now just like the Pokemon like she have blue at first then light blue and then pink so I'm just adding them color wise to the doll. Off screen I decided to remove the pink one and add a white version because I just love that how the white will look with the blue colors and the pink one is not looking good. Moving on to the other doll things, so at first I decided to work on the doll tail and many people were asking that how I make my doll tails. So here is the version that how I make my doll tails, it's very easy to make. So I have taken a very thin jewelry wire and now I'm just twisting them together. I also added a very tiny loop so I will just add this very easily to my doll and after this I'm taking my pink color of acrylic yarn and I'm just wrapping around this yarn from this jewelry wire and after this I will take a scissors and cut this. And once I have a good amount then I'm starting unraveling all of them. This step is very important if you wanted to brush your doll hair and then it will turn out very good. And using my hot glue gun I will be just gluing all this yarn to the piece of wire. I decided to add a lot of yarn to this tail to make it super fluffy. And now I'll be doing the same thing with the rest of the tail. Now this is looking very perfect so I have taken a brush and I'm starting brushing all this yarn to make it super fluffy and cute. And now I think that the tail is all done. I'm so much happy that how this is looking and it's looking very fluffy. I just love it. So in the beginning of this tail, I have also made a very tiny loop. So I have inserted a very thin jewelry wire in the loop. And now I'm just twisting this jewelry wire all around the doll body just to make the tail very secure. I'm also done with the doll outfit. I have added some flowers and also a very beautiful pom pom lace and I'm so much happy that how this looks and what do you guys think about this doll outfit. Please let me know in the comment section. And the tail is also looking very cute and I'm so much happy with the result. 
For the last minute detail, I added a very big bow at the back of the doll outfit and now I'm finally moving on to the ribbon part. This was one of my most favorite part when I was repainting this doll because I just love trying new things. So I have taken a very tiny white ribbon and I added slits to both of them. And using a lighter, I free blocked everything. And once I'm happy with the shapes, then I cut it them the desired length I want. And after this, I'm taking my acrylic paint to paint them very perfectly and to match with the rest of my design. And now they are finally done. And what do you guys think about this? Please let me know in the comment section. And now to make the magic happens, so I'm taking a thin jewelry wire and using my hot glue gun, I'm just applying this jewelry wire to the ribbons. And make sure to do it very neatly. And easy peasy, the ribbon parts are all done and they are very bendable and I'm so much happy with the result. And now both of the ribbons are all done and I'm using my hot glue gun just to glue them together. I also added a very beautiful bow to the ribbons and I think that this bow is looking very cute. I'm so much happy that how this turned out. Now I'm just adding this directly to the doll outfit and for the last minute detail I added a very cute gem in the center of this ribbon and I think that the doll outfit is looking more cute and I just love that how this turned out. And now the doll outfit is looking very fantastic but I also decided to add some pink nail polish to the doll nails just to add some more detail to the doll. And now the doll nails are all done and I'm so much happy that how all of this outfit and everything is looking together. Using the same technique I made this bow for the doll hair and I just make this in a bigger version because I just wanted to make this very perfect and very similar to the Pokemon. And now the bow is looking fantastic and I'm really happy with the result. So I have made this piece of armature wires for the doll ears and I think that the length is perfect. And using my air dry clay, I'll be starting sculpting the doll ears. I have used this pink color of air dry clay because I think that the color is perfect and it's very lightweight so it's very perfect for this doll. And now I'm taking a piece of clay and I'm starting sculpting the doll ears. Making the doll ears was very easy to do. I just really enjoy working on it but make sure to give it some time to make both of them in right shape. And now the ears are all done but make sure to take it for drying for about 24 hours and after this I will be starting repainting the blue part of the ears. So the inside part of the ears was blue so I have used my blue color of acrylic paint and starting painting the ears and make sure to give it about two layers just to make the color opaque and vibrant. And once both of the ears are fully dry, I have also made some tiny loops at the end of these ears and I have added a very thin jewelry wire to the ears and after this I am just adding them to the doll sculpt. This method is very easy and very safe if you wanted to make ears for your dolls and then they will not come off easily and they will be very safe. 
I use this similar method whenever I add any kind of ears to my dolls or any kind of hair accessories because I just wanted to make all the stuff for my doll very securely and I just want that they can stay for very long time and they cannot break easily. So this method is very easy and very fun to do. I also added a layer of hot glue gun just to make this extra secure and now I'm finally done with the ears part and I have already rerouted the doll hairline and now I'm using my hot glue gun just to glue this directly to the doll head. I also used some super glue just to make this extra secure. So I have only worked on the doll hairline and now I will be repeating the same step with the rest of the doll head. And now I am finally done with the doll hair and I think that she is looking very cute and one of my most cute doll and I have also made some curls in the doll hair using a tiny chopstick. And for the last minute detail, I added this bow directly to the doll hair and I also added a very tiny gem. And now we only have to work on the doll shoes. So I have made these platform boots using the same air dry clay and now I am taking this tiny lace and I am just gluing this directly to the doll shoes. I added some stars and beads to the doll shoes just to make them extra detailed. And with that the doll is all done. I'm really happy that how she turned out and what do you guys think about her? What is your favorite thing about her? I'm really happy with the doll outfit and the face up and I'm super proud of all the details which I have added in this doll and if you guys wanted to see more videos then please like, share and subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and I will see you guys very soon next week. Goodbye.